this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time for us to return to Zork Zero and try to win this frickin' game a double Fanucci. So if you watch to the end, thank you. Alright, let's sit down and play this damn game. All right, inner keys are the UDLR keys to highlight a play and then hit return. Okay. 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 Gonna muttonate the jester. 40x, oh god. Okay, so let's uh, draw. Now I got seven of rain. Double rain. I don't to up the A up, okay. All right, so let's uh, double play I hit double play let's try that The lip nice guys finish last ah, boy. Draw the four bugs your opponent Double play infinite zerfs. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'll try divide. No. Divide. Um, oh, I gain points. Yay. <laughs> I have ink blots. Decide to draw. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Um. I wonder what overpass does. Overpass plungers. I said overpass. Ah. Okay, ooh, infinite faces, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna try muttonating. Infinite faces. Okay. Uh, ooh. That's the four bases. Okay, well, I gained points, so. Uh, gonna overpass the. I want to overpass. Oh, God. Ah, good. Now he's um he's done that. He discarded trouble frumps. Okay, under Trump. Okay, so let's see. I have to do a three. Oh, did I do something right here? Great, Sibyl's ghost, three under trumping after a treble from this card. That's indefensible. In the time-honored tradition of double Fonucci matches, the jester leaps over the card table to congratulate. 
Okay, he rifles through and removes a broom, which he lays on the card table. This, these are your winnings? In a wink, the jester has gone, hallelujah! <laughs> I've won double Fanucci. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't think I was going to do that this time. Uh, they do have, they do like to put in there something that will, they did like to put in something for a lot of, for the early game, something that would just drive you mad. Okay, I got my one, I got... I won double Fanucci. Woohoo! Just only took like. And it was very possible I didn't figure that one if I didn't recall that from what I've read. I'd still be doing it. Okay, so let's take the broom. You pick up the broom. Stand up! Alrighty, well, that's a good thing. We finally got the hell done with that goddamn game. Alright. South? East? Let's see. I'm going south and east. <laughs> and north. Inquisition! Extremist religions spring up whenever an empire collapses. The Inquisitors believe the impending doom caused by widespread sin. The impending doom is caused by widespread sin, but that the gods can be placated if every person in a known kingdom is executed. This is one of the Inquisitors' ex execution sites. Whoa! A hood executioner, dripping with sweat and blood, stands between a gallows and a block. Five people are queued up in front of the executioner. Near the end of the line is a number dispenser. A large sign fills one wall. The only exit is south. One of the sinners has apparently dropped a box here. The box has some writing on it. The executioner calls out, Number 48. And a bed bedraggled man steps forward. Executioner, send me to the Ansaria. He croaks. The executioner says, Sorry, can't do that. The man is placed on the block, and a moment later, his head is rolling away. Okay. Okay, take box. You pick up the box. Guard pokes you with a spear. Hey, take a number. Trollish guard drags someone in who obediently takes a number from the dispenser. Number dispenser. The executioner, the executioner calls out number forty-nine, and a bedraggled man steps forward. Executioner, sing a song. He croaks. The executioner says, "Done." And the man is led to the gallows and hung from the neck until dead. Okay. Okay. Take a number. You get number 53. Uh -oh. A trollish guard drags... Okay, takes a number from the number dispenser. The executioner calls out, Number 50, and a bedraggled man says, Well, executioner kicked me. He croaks. The executioner says, Done, and the man is led to the gallows and hung from the neck until dead. That's, um... What did I just do? Read sign. Sinners, take note. We cannot execute everyone at once. Please take a number. Everyone is permitted a final request. Tell the executioner your request when your number is called. If we cannot grant you your final wish, we shall be quick and merciful. We will behead you. If we can grant your final wish, we will hang you. Please note that this is slow and excruciatingly painful. A trollish guard drags someone...
locked in, who immediately takes the number from the number dispenser. The executioner calls out number 51, and a bedraggled man steps forward. Executioner, give me Ursula Flathead, he croaks. The executioner says, sorry, can't do that. The man is placed on the block, and a moment later, his head is rolling away. <sighs> Open box. Reveals a pellet of squid repellent. Oh. Opening the box reveals a pellet of squid repellent. A trollish guard drags someone in who immediately takes a number from the number dispenser. The executioner calls out number 52. And the bedraggled man says for it, executioner, kiss me. He croaks. The executioner says, done. And the man is led to the gallows and hung from the neck. Until dead. Uh -huh. Take the pellet of squid repellent from the box. The trollish guard drags two people in who immediately take numbers from the number dispenser. The executioner calls out number 53 and looks at you with an ugly grin. Executioner. I'm going to spell that right. Executioner. Behead me. The executioner says, hey, sure, easy request, I could be edge it. Then a confused look creeps over his face. If I be edge you, then I done granted your last wish and I gotta hang you. But if I hang you, I ain't granted your last wish and I gotta behead you. But he trails off guards, throw this wise guy out of here. Guards surround you and escort you out. Well, yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's the cl uh, it's the it's the logic riddle. It's a logic riddle. If they can grant your request, they have to hang you. But if they can't be grant your request, they have to behead you. So by telling them to behead me, he can grant the request, but he can't do it. All right. Now we gotta have that. The once busy port on the shore of the Great Sea lies deserted. The tunnel opens to the east. The shoreline can be followed south along the ocean's edge, and a wharf juts into the harbor to the west. A newly constructed stone building lies to the north. An eye-catching sign has been erected next to its entrance. <laughs> well, we already know what it was, so we'll go south. You are on a wide sandbar, which almost certainly vanishes at high tide. The only way off the sandbar are to the north and to the south. Okay. Go south. Quiboza Beach. You are on a wide beach of fine pinkish white sand. The ocean stretches west to the horizon due to the low tide. It looks as if you could travel north in addition. Tunnels open to the northeast and southeast. A wave crashes against the beast. All right, let's go southeast. Warning room. You are in a tunnel which curves northwest and northeast. The tunnel rises at the latter end and passes a large eye-catching sign. Okay, I'm going to save the game here. Save. Chance. Okay. Let's read that sign. Warning. This area is populated by three races. The Veritasi, who always tell the truth, the Prevaricans, who always lie, and the Wishifu, who alternate with every statement. Be aware that visitors to Veritas and Prevarican areas are immediately fed to ravenous hellhounds. Oh, ha, 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 oh, boy. Well, let's uh, take our chances now. 
room of three doors. Okay. Left center, all three doors are closed and have some writing on, on them. In addition, a tunnel leads to the southwest. Read left door. Attention, this door does not lead to Prevaricon territory. The center door does not lead to Wishifu territory. Uh huh. I see. Okay. Now the Prevaricons are the liars. Okay. So it's telling the truth. Both do tell the truth. That means both. All right, let's read the middle door. This door does not lead to Vericon territory. The right door does not lead to Veritasi territory. Uh huh. Right door. This door does not lead to Vericon territory. The left door does not lead to Wishifu territory. Okay. Mm. Ah, uh, so each door leads to one of their territories. So now we have to deduce which one we can go to. Which one is the best door to open? All right. So we have to look at each scenario. Let's assume that door one does lead to Wishicon territory. There's my scribble sheets. So I can help figure this. Okay. Left door. If the left door left center right. Now Let's assume that the Vericon door is the truth teller. V is true. Uh, Pavericon is always false. And uh, Wishifu is true, false. They alternate. So let's look at this. If both are true. So let's say if L is Vericon, okay. Well, that would be true. And then that the other would be true. Mm -hmm. So if C goes to Wishicon, that's true. But then that would be false. Okay, 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 so let's see. So let's assume the right door is Wishifu. So let's look at the uh, center door. So if the center door is Prevaricon, this door does not lead to Prevaricon, sorry. Well, that would be a true state. That would be a lie, because it does. The right door does not lead to Veristati territory. Uh-huh. See, that first statement is going to be a lie for one of them. Okay. So, we got to figure out which one is true in each case. So let's say that that middle door, so I don't think the left door is, Veris, is the truth teller. Let's try that's the prevaricators. If that's true, that would make the center door, the wishy-foo. 
This door does not lead, which is true. The right door does not lead to Vesera territory, which would be the lie. So, the door does not, true, the left door does not lead to Wishifu, which is true. So, the, so we got to enter the, open the middle door, I believe. Okay. Middle door. Wishifu territory. Yahoo! We got it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Damn bat. Okay. Read sign. We've already been to that. Let's go back northeast. Read left door. Read center door. Read right door. Okay. Oh no. They're not me over again, Jester. So we gotta figure out this again. Because the damn bat. I hate that bat. Alright. So let's see. F C Okay, in this situation, let's see. Well, if left is, is the veritas, both are true. So let's look at that center door now. If that is the prevaricus, both those would be lies. The wishy-foo one doesn't pass the mustard. That would be two truths. Okay, so let's try a different setup. All right. So let's try, let's, uh, you put the veric, the, uh, the, the prevaricon, the liars. This door does not lead. The center door does not lead to veritas territory. So if the center is veritas, the door does not, but then that doesn't work either. All right, so let's try, make it wishy-foo. True, the center door does not lead to veritas territory. That could be the lie. So the veritas, this door does not lead, that's true. The right door doesn't lead to fit, that would be true. And let's see the right door. That's the lie, the left, that's a lie, okay. I'm watching you, Jester. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We entered the wishy food territory. Yay! All righty. All right, let's get that shovel. All righty. Who take shovel? Yeah, we entered the right territory. That's a great thing. Okay, down. And we reach a fork. The final tunnel forks here. With roads leading northwest, west, and southwest. Oh yeah, this was another thing that was dastardly. You could go down. But, <laughs> you know, you could, you know, they would, 
the direction you came from wasn't the same direction you entered in. Okay. All right, let's go uh, northeast. Ooh, rest stop. By the north side of the road is a rest stop. Closed and boarded up. Road continues east and southwest. Okay, so let's go uh, east. Potholes. The road which runs east to west is in bad shape here. Pitted with potholes and ruts. In other words, it's like a road in my state, Pennsylvania. East. Crossroads. You stand at the junction of two underground highways. One north-south, the other east-west. Ah, sign hangs in the center. East, east. North. Exit. Okay. North. The, we're at the Great Underground Highway again. Northeast. And we're back in the lower hall. Oh, good grief. Up. South. South. Oh. South. Secret passage. You're in a secret passage running north, south, south. T. <laughs> East. Down. Alrighty. East, down, south. We're in the dungeon. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it to the dungeon. Yay! Southeast. The cell is the height of luxury for this dungeon. The floor isn't covered with spikes, and there are actually a few corners which aren't dominated by giant spiders. Thank you. Thick cobwebs obscure the rear wall. The only exit is north east sweep cobwebs it's a dirty job but somebody's got to do it you clear away most of the cobwebs revealing a blank wall sitting in the base of the wall is a stopped glass flask with filled with liquid okay Okay. I think I don't I think I didn't get the funny paper. I should need a funny paper by now, so I'll have to hunt that down. I think I have the slate. Northwest. If I north, north, north. Okay. Look under slab. Uh, look at slabs, okay? Slab, do you mean? Oh, <gasps> so you and the funny papers. Uh, I learned. There it is. Get funny paper. Yes, that's what I was waiting. Ah, oh, I got it. Ah, oh. okay. Well, let's read the funny paper. The comic strip entitled Me and the Jester. In a strip, a peasant adventurer is bumbling around a mighty castle alternately helped and hindered by a playful jester. In one panel, the jester suggests that the adventurer look under the newest slab in the crypt. Slab. Under the slab is a craggy hole, dripping with slime, leading downward. It looks just 
barely large enough to enter. Well, well, well. All righty. And I think with this one, we will save it at this point, since now we have that, and we now see that hole. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X L Square. And uh, if you've been enjoying this playthrough and watch to the end, thank you. I'm going to work my way through all the Zork games, which means the first few, the first bunch of games are going to be a lot of reading. Uh, later games did incorporate more graphical interface. So when I get to those, uh, of course, I won't be reading as much. I'm also working my way through uh, Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, a very fun game with a snarky cat in it. I'm also working my way through the Monkey Island franchise. I'm on the final entry in that franchise, Tales of Monkey Island, and I will be starting the third chapter in that game soon. Because it was a telltale game. It was released that way. I am also working my way through Call of Cthulhu, the 2018 release. I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. And by now you'll notice I probably also have Monstrum 2 runs up. I'm also working my way through Abduction from the same people who created Myst. I'm working my way through the Space Push franchise by Sierra. Uh, currently on the Pirates of Pestilon. And I'm working through the Doom franchise. And I'm... By the time this recording goes up, I might have picked up Doom 3. And I may add it to the playlist, or I may add it as a break, because I've been playing the ones that are predominantly Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer. And there's other stuff up on the channel, so please subscribe and check things out. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, take care. And this, again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. Have fun. <laughs> Bye.